Hey guys, Sancho from Metrica Sports here. Just a quick video to show you some of the new graphics update, the new update to the visualizations and the functionalities in play for our basic users, our free users, and also our basic plus users. So I'm just gonna move this clip on a little bit and I'm gonna start by showing you the player ID, for example. So I'm gonna drop it on this player. You can see here you've got the option to change the color. You can use this slider to make it bigger, make it smaller. And you've also got the option to drop it underneath the player. So if you want in a situation where maybe having it above the player would obscure the player behind, then this is quite a good functionality for that specific use case. You can also link the spotlight. And from here you can change the opacity. You can change the size of this spotlight. You can change the height. If you just want to have a short one or, or maybe very, very tall, you can play around with that. And then you've got the option here for the ring as well. So I'm just going to toggle on the, the ring fill and then the, also the border. And you can use these in any combination. So you can change the color of either and you can have maybe just the border ring, just the fill ring, any kind of combination you, you like. So I'm just going to add um, maybe a player ring to Sterling in this case. So I'm just going to add a player ring like that. You can see the chroma key is added automatically just to make sure the visualization sits nicely below the players. So I'm just going to use the slider to make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to keyframe this to follow the player. So I'm just going to play the video on a couple of frames and then adjust the box like that. So I'm just playing the video, stopping it and then adjusting the box. You don't have to be super precise with this. You can go back in and edit it. And there's a bit of smoothing that goes on anyway, so it shouldn't be too difficult to, to do this. So I'm just going to do a couple more frames. Maybe as he enters the penalty box like that to this point. And then maybe here in the video, so let's say, yeah, let's say at this point, I'm going to add a pause. Maybe I want to add a shape, for example. So I can click like this to add a shape. Any of these points from the shape, you can drag and you can adjust to make it look the way you want. So I'm just gonna adjust this one to make it look a little bit nicer. Jump into the settings on the three dots here. You can change the fill color, you can change the border, you can change the way the border looks. You can have no border if you want, for example. And maybe I'll add one more drawing just because why not? So I'm gonna add an arrow and maybe show this is the, the pass that I wanted you to make, for example. And there you go. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the new update. Delighted to, to share it with you and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can create. So look out for some more of these short videos.